good morning friends. It is a brand new day and we are at the hardware store getting our supplies in the gardening section because this is the only place no one can hear me vlog. So let's just go get our tools then. Get our materials, hunt, gather, let's go. <laughs> Outside. We are back in the garden, hair is down, it's time to get down to business. So the game plan for the rest of the day, I'm going to be measuring up the stuff that I bought earlier and probably scoring and then maybe even cutting it into size so that it can fit nice and tight, nice and square into the frame itself. I'm going to start with the backboard because I want that one to be super fit into the frame. I don't want that one sliding around everywhere making a mess of the display. So fingers crossed we get that one right. I have the measurements from last time and then once this one's cut up into the square I'm gonna cut up the acrylic but I really want this backboard bad boy to be super fit super tight so we'll start there. So I re Ooh, mistake okay so I measured up the frame again earlier just to make sure that I got the numbers right and it looked to be about 78 by 78 centimeters would make it fit nice and snug into the back of the frame so we're just gonna measure that out we got 78 centimeters I hope this measuring tape holds Let's get to it. This is what happens when you don't have the proper measuring tools. You improvise. I need one more ruler, don't I? Yeah. That looks to be a pretty straight line. I'd say that's a straight line. With silver chair, that's a straight line. In a straight line. Let's go with yes. I'm gonna measure it up one more time, just with the tape that I measured up the frame with, so that I can, you know, it's, it's like accurate, transferable, whatever you wanna call it. It's 78 at the end, 78 at the end. Oh my God, wait, that's actually really perfect. Good job. Cool, so that's drawn up. I'm going to score it just with the box cutter because apparently that'll do the job. Full disclosure, this is probably not the best way to be doing it, but we're DIYing. So this is how we're doing it. I can tell you right now, this was a mistake. You know what I just realized? In the background, I got some bricks. So I'm gonna use some bricks and hold this ruler down so that it at least holds its straight line and I can cut along that edge. Nice and neat and tidy and pray for the best. Mistakes have been made repeatedly. We have an upgrade. Okay, this is gonna be every DIY guru's worst nightmare, but I think I'm just gonna freehand it <laughs> with the ruler where possible. But at this rate, I feel like freehanding it is my best shot, which is terrifying to think about but let's just do it the damage has already been done on this end what's the worst that could happen oh, 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 oh. i can't believe that worked okay we're getting somewhere this makes it much easier Whew, thank god full disclosure this looks bad <laughs> you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna grab the frame and then I'm gonna have a quick look and see how much of this mess is actually visible. <sighs> this is, I, one like one prayer when it's reached that point. Please, 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 please don't show, please don't show, is gonna get flagged. Please don't show. Oh, actually, you guys, I'm literally so dumb. Of course it's not gonna show, it's like too, like, I measured it out so that it would fit within the frame. Of course it's not gonna show. I'm panicking for nothing. Oh. But actually, this wasn't bad. Wow, wow. My DIY dreams are coming true. So I'm just gonna neaten up the edge so it actually slots into this bad boy. Clean up that edge and it'll fit perfectly in that, in that, in that, in that regard, in that dimension. Oh my God, I'm, oh. I cannot tell you how relieved I am that it's not gonna show. Trial and error, baby. <laughs> oh my God, even there's like sweat in my gloves. That's how nervous this made me. I am disgusted. Disgusting. When I said that this would not be a DIY tutorial, I meant it. 
because this channel, this channel is all about discovering new things, finding out who you really are through multiple means, modes of expression, what have you. And that includes finding, is, oh God, mistake. That includes making multiple mistakes that lead to hopefully good outcomes. And you know what? That's what life is all about. It's about the journey. The things you learn on the way are what shapes you into the person that you are and the person that you'll become. And like Bob Ross always says, we don't make mistakes. There's just happy accidents. Said every unwilling parent ever. But <laughs> the point is we live, we learn, we grow from our mistakes. <sighs> and that includes learning through our DIY stuff ups. So here we are. Now that I know that this board is gonna fit into those two corners, I need it to fit into these two corners. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna score a light line on this edge and then cut in the tiniest bit from that, like a millimeter, two millimeters in from that light score and then hope for the best there. Better idea. I'm gonna score, cause I can see where the board needs to be cut in to fit in from the bottom. I'm gonna score from the bottom this time so that it doesn't show up on the white and I don't have another mini panic attack over that. And then just score all the way through from the bottom side. That doesn't make sense. You'll see, here we go. Not bad for a girl who can't freehand draw a circle but can apparently freehand draw a line. Actually, we're actually pretty far through. You can actually see it. I don't know if, I don't know if you can see it, but I can see it. There's actually quite a few score lines. Oh my God, what are you? No, you know what? It's fine. The frame's gonna cover it. It's fine. No, it's a self-invest in a better goddamn box cutter because this one is actually the, the worst. worst. Wow, as long as no one ever takes this backboard out of the frame, she's actually pretty pretty. I'm gonna try and fit it into the frame now. So let's just continue to pray for me. Keep me in your prayers, people, because I, I, this episode, I really need it, apparently. Let's lay you down. <sighs> I am not religious, but if I were. One corner, two corners. Oh no, she's a little bit too big. This probably should have been my mode of attack, like from the get-go, but like I said, trial and error, you live and you learn and that's what DIY is all about and honestly if you're like a DIY maniac or like you build stuff at home and you're like well versed in doing this kind of thing and you're watching this video and just cringing at almost everything that I do I'm with you I'm right there with you but like I said there's no such thing as mistakes just happy accidents and this entire project is a happy accident and I'm having fun. And that's what really matters. So as you can plainly see, I have switched tools. This is much better. Should have used this from the beginning, but another lesson we're learning today is better late than never. So I think we're done. All right, this is it, moment of truth. I'm gonna fit this into the frame and fingers crossed, this is actually going to fit into the frame. Finally, please, please, Let's do this. All right, here we go. Yes. Yes. Why? Why? Oh, oh, we're in. Oh, hell yes. Yay. I did it. <laughs> wow, okay, that is, that's a lot more satisfying than I imagined it should be, but we did it! We're in the home stretch! This is this is all coming together. All that's left is the acrylic, which is going to be a challenge in and of itself, and the framing up of the scarf, which should be relatively simple, all things considered. All things considered. So yeah, okay, I'm going to finish up the acrylic tomorrow. I will see you guys the next day. Here we are, day 4.5. We are finally going to cut up, score up this piece of acrylic. I'm gonna roll it out. Hopefully it rolls out flat. Hopefully. Um, but yeah, this one is considerably thinner than 
yesterday's piece of backboard. So hopefully with a little bit less scoring effort, with a little bit less of an arm day workout, I'll be able to get this one cut up into shape. Actually, I might test using like garden scissors on it first to see if that'll cut through it because it is pretty, pretty thin in comparison to the backboard. So we'll see, trial and error, day 4.5, here we go. magic carpet apparently so the scissors seem to work really well case in point so i might just use the scissors and save myself a whole lot of arm workout with scoring it up this all rides on the fact that i can cut in a straight line so hopefully my primary school skills haven't evaded me and i can still do that Now that this bad boy is cut up, I think it's time we put it all together. <sighs> please fit, please fit, please fit. Oh my god. <laughs> First time's the charm, that went perfectly. <gasps> yes! This is exactly what I wanted. I'm so satisfied right now. Oh my god. I did it. Oh my god, it's all done. It's all done. All that's left is to put the scarf in. I'm gonna hammer in a little, a couple of like, um, little, what are they called? Frame stays that I bought um, so that it'll hold the backboard to the frame itself. But oh my God, it's done. The thing about the frame stays that I bought though, they're these little bad boys that you typically see on the back of picture frames that like swivel so that you can tuck in the frame and the backboard but that's only assuming that the frame and the backboard line up in depth with each other surprise surprise mine doesn't so what i'm doing to remedy that i've just grabbed one of these scrap pieces of wood that i had left over from the original sawing up and i'm screwing in these frame stays into a little hole and then giving it a little bit of overhang and then on that overhang, I'm hammering the absolute daylights out of it so that it makes a nice 90 degree angle. And if I do say so myself, it's turning out pretty nicely. I made a frame. This is it, the big reveal. I'm not gonna keep you guys in suspense any longer. Y'all ready for this? 